So this video is sort of like a, a news update. This is just some updates on some software. Now, I, I haven't brought up Adobe Photoshop Elements because lately Adobe has not been my favorite company. But one of the loopholes, so to speak, was you could get Adobe Photoshop Elements and for, I believe the prices were around $100, you could, you could still get a disc and pay for it I'm looking to see if I have it handy. I, I have I have a copy around here somewhere. I have a copy you can see here, Adobe Photoshop Elements 2018. And you could buy this and it has a photo editor, an organizer, and a video editor. And you could you would purchase this for, I don't know, about a hundred dollars. Uh, it may have been up to as $150. I do not remember. But they often had sale, well, occasionally had sales, and you owned it. But that has changed. That would again for the Photoshop. It, it I the the interface was um, a little different, and you know you had the brighter colors and things like that. But it didn't have a lot of the the you know it didn't have the 3D effects, and it did not have all of the you know a lot of these other types of things. I do remember using the organizer. It did go in and start identifying a lot of the images and people in the photograph. So. I think that was AI. I'm not sure. But it, it's not as robust as Photoshop. You can see right here it says Photoshop Elements 2025. And it is now a three-year license. And I believe what it's saying they say now is you won't have that automatic renewal. But um, check it out if that was something that you were interested in. I'm looking here on on B and H and everything is three-year license, three-year license. Um, I am not seeing, yes, yeah, $79. That seems for the teacher student edition and a hundred bucks for the other, but I'm not seeing discs anymore. It, it appears that they've pulled the discs. So if you are interested in something like that, you might be able to go over to eBay, uh, but make sure you ask questions and find out. But it says here, Adobe Photoshop Elements 2022, 50 bucks. I believe this is discs and until who knows pretty soon people are going to find out here we go so here's some where they're discs if you are interested in something like that $69 and you own it maybe that's something that interests you maybe maybe not but again I'm not a I'm not grooving on Adobe these days because of the way they've been treating the customers and this just goes to prove it here this was sort of the little loophole and now they have closed it and and if you look here if i and if i search this on amazon uh what do we call this photo adobe photoshop elements you can see that okay one star rating i think people are getting upset because it is now a, a subscription based three year term three year term and this one again i double checked and it does not um, automatically renew you pay for it and after three years it just it just stops working and then you have to go buy a new one if you want a new one which is kind of cool in and of itself but I am not seeing any discs out here you can still find a few on eBay but now they've closed that loophole and now this is a three-year license it's still a good deal but it's a three-year license. But check out some of the videos you'll find online to see if the interface works for you or if it does everything you want. But it will help you organize photos and edit photos and videos much in the same way as you can do with, with Photoshop. Now, another thing that I want to bring up is Rebel 7. Um, Rebel 7 actually hang on. This is a painting software. And it's not real popular, but I caught this on sale I don't know I think I think that, uh, this past summer I paid maybe $80 no I didn't pay $80 that's the regular price I think I caught it on sale and paid $59 but now I want to point this out hang on where is that thing a super sale okay I actually I think I paid $80 for this one that's $149 on I think it was a 50% off sale and this is just a crazy sale and this is amazing software I haven't had time to really dig into it yet I did find it to have a bit of a a learning curve let me see Rebel 7 
I did find it to have a bit of a learning curve, but the thing that I liked about this is when I digitally paint, I miss having drips as opposed to when I paint naturally, when I paint normally, I would have, you know, you can have drips on your painting and this creates drips. And for $10, if you do digital painting, get it. Um, I don't know how long this sale is going to be on, but if I click here, Okay, so I, I believe I paid about, paid about $100 for Rebel 7 Pro, and they have a lower version, which is $9.99, and then they have the Pro version, which is $14.99, 15 bucks. At this price, please buy the Pro version if you are interested in using software like this. I mean, this is just an unbelievable deal. I mean, I paid over $100 for this this past summer, and it is really good software. If I find out when the sale ends or after it ends, I'll put it down in the chat. I'll put comment a comment down in the chat letting you know that the that the sale is over. But you can see here I do own this software and I'm going to play a little see if I can find a little clip and I'm going to play it. And I'm going to play the clip just so you can see how some of these drips and things work. I wish I could buy another one. What I had been doing with this is because of the learning curve, I'm not quite getting it just yet. I will start a painting and then I'll bring it into another software and build on top of that. And they also have a free trial. What I recommend is giving that trial a try. And if you like it after a day, just go right back and pay the $10. It's super cheap and it's an awesome software.